Okay, can you believe it? I'm making another video because I'm getting ready to go to bed. It's 8.02 p.m. It is July 20th, and I'm hoping that tomorrow will be a better day. If dumb Terry is reading and watching my video, please don't have them call me back on that job. I don't want to, I won't even answer the phone. I don't want to deal with, I don't want to deal with it. Okay, I'm not trying to work a job so people can use me to bully me or try to think it's funny to make me do something that I don't want to do. I've already told you that. But this video is more for me to talk about what's going on with me and how I feel about this issue. And I don't know if my son watches my videos. I know that he probably communicates with Terry. And, you know, I understand there's a covert, very covert nature about this. The fact is, is that anytime somebody tells you to keep a secret from your own parent, it's not good. Okay. But whatever the case is, if my son does watch this, it's important because I'm feeling at a point right now where, you know, I don't feel comfortable with what happened. And I'm worried that Terry is going to reduce the quality of my son's life and limit his choices in life that he needs to make. And so if my son feels that it gets to the point where he cannot take it anymore and she is so defiant um, that she be, gets stubborn, he should not be afraid to use the court system since he knows her that well. Okay, I, she has really done a number on me. All because she is a selfish, pig-headed pig person, bigoted, evil person. And I'm very sorry that my mother made the mistake of thinking that it was okay for her to be a part of my life. Or my son's life. Um, I don't think that was the case. Um, I want my son to know that this sort of behavior is wrong. And that, um, that the reasons why I was so unhappy when he was younger is because I didn't know that these people were in my life. I couldn't figure out what was going on, why everything was falling apart in my life, why things never worked out right. And now I understand, okay, I had no control over any of this. I never consented to any of this at all, you know, I never wanted it. Also, um, enough people at home know who I am and it's my responsibility to get my life in order. I don't want to work for any of you guys. I don't want to work for the Collins family. I don't want to be associated with people who, who think that poorly of me because it's always going to be enacted out. There's nothing wrong with my life to where I feel like I need to change it. Now, I'm not going to step it down from the life that I live and my, my standards in my life um, to be somebody's doormat, especially for somebody I don't care about. Okay? I don't care about Bruce. Especially now. Okay, I was indifferent to him like before, before I realized how much he had to do with this issue. Like I, I, I never wished him any harm. I just figured he was not somebody I wanted to be with. But at this point, I'm literally terrified of this man. Okay, I need people to wake up. Okay, and I don't want my son's life to be reduced or unhappy because of it. Okay, now I mentioned this issue about me suspecting that one of my previous employers is leaving me money in her will. I do appreciate it. But like I said, you know, it, it should have given that money. She probably feels responsible because um, of all the problems that um, have been caused because of this dumb bitch, Terry Collins and her fucked up family. Um, and then realizing that maybe she overstood stepped her boundaries, which I would say that this particular person did overstep her boundaries. Okay. But, and then she decided, well, you know, that I, I do deserve some compensation. And she decides to give me that compensation in her will when she's dead. And she no longer has to deal with things on the earth because she, she didn't want to suffer herself by giving me the money now. She wants to wait until she's dead and it doesn't matter. Which right there is an insult to me because I've suffered tremendously from this, from this issue. I never wanted, not one time, did I ever want anything tied to that family. At all. Okay? And yeah, I'm making a lot of videos of that because I am mentally ill and I do not feel safe anymore. I feel like my life was threatened today when I went to that job interview. Don't you dare call me back on that job. Don't you dare ask me to work a job where you know good and well that I'm being hired so you can make fun of me. Oh, she's wearing a uniform. We told her she's going to wear it, but she's making me to wear it. 
and then I'm supposed to be the center of attention because I'm doing something that I didn't want to do in the first place. Stop bullying me. Okay? No, I have not outgrown my interest in clothes, fashion, or anything else that relates to expressing myself. I am not a Jehovah's Witness. That's the only issue that you should have with me. Okay? I don't know why your religion tells... I don't recall anybody saying that Jehovah... Because I knew some pretty sharp dressing women when I was growing up who were Jehovah's Witnesses. So whatever insecurity you have, that's not my problem. Okay? I don't know Jennifer... Uh, I don't know why her last name escapes me. But anyway... Stay out of my life. Okay? Like I said, everybody in this goddamn town knows who I am. If I need work, that's my own responsibility. Okay? It, and it doesn't do me any good to sit here and work a job. Yeah, you know, the last job I was making, I didn't make a lot of money. Okay? But you know what? I hated my job when I realized. I didn't know exactly Bruce was in part of this whole thing. I thought there was all kinds of people involved in it. Okay? But like I said, I honestly believed in my mind that Jehovah's Witnesses were ethical people. So that's why it never occurred to me that Terry Collins could be a part of this. Because I knew that Terry Collins was a racist. I knew that Terry Collins would say a lot of off-colored things. <laughs> no pun intended. I knew that she was, you know, over-opinionated, and I knew that she, you know, this somebody I didn't really feel like I wanted to be around. Okay. But I at least thought that she would adhere to the laws of this state this country, and the biblical laws, which means that you don't force your shit on me. And I thought that you would do that as a Jehovah's Witness. I used to respect Jehovah's Witnesses. I don't anymore. I do not respect Jehovah's Witnesses. And they're, they're, I will set the door on each and every one of those people's faces from this day forward. Okay? It's like, you know, the Bible talks about how you could be responsible for making somebody stumble because you did not set an example as a Jehovah's Witness. You fucked up royally. Fucked up royally. And if this congregation within this community supported you, something's wrong with that. Corruption has, you know, and I used to, like, to what I had so much respect for Jehovah's Witnesses at one time in my life. Because they were very, very on it. Like, you know, like they were so concerned about sticking with scripture so concerned about being good people if you supported this you're just as warped as she is okay don't get me wrong everybody wants to make a decent living okay people you know don't get me wrong the money that i was making before it was good but like i said if you have to reduce the quality of your life then it doesn't matter how much you're getting it doesn't matter okay and i don't want to hear about people and their you know your fucking expensive items and stuff. That's not impressive to me. I like my life. This is the life I want. I don't want to be associated. And I'm saying this over and over and over again because I need you to leave me alone, Terry Collins. Okay? I need you to leave me alone, Jennifer Collins. I don't know what Bruce did. Look, you can sit here and try. I am not responsible for change. I'm not responsible. So my responsibility to change my life for anybody. And I am very protective of my life. Because I fought so hard to have what I do have now. Okay? Back in Lancaster, I was a very unhappy person. I hated my life. Okay? And I was around people who didn't understand me all the time. And I felt misunderstood, which is understandable. Because I didn't even understand that I was the person that I was. I just knew that this is the way it was. And I said things. I did things differently than other people. But I realized as an adult, I'm supposed to. As you know, and I've been discredited, I am a genius. My, my IQ is higher than over, it's over 170. Okay, that's high. Okay, that's very, it's a very high IQ. I am not like everyone else. Okay, stop trying to make me be like everyone. It's an irritable situation. I cannot be like everyone else. If I think, if I know better than what you're supposed to do, why am I going to de-evolve? That's stupid. You know what I mean? And you get this bully constantly telling you, doing stuff, and threatening my life. I felt threatened today. I felt like somebody put a gun to my head again today. After I told you, Miss Jehovah's Witness, not to do that again. Do not have them call me back on that. Okay? I don't want to be associated with you. I will not forgive what you did. Okay? I will never forgive what you did. You cannot give me those years back. And you're greedy, sick, demonic asses want to keep taking from me you have taken my rights to have my own friends 
to have my own thoughts, to have my anything, and it's, you're sick in the fucking goddamn head. I don't want to see your people anymore. Okay? I don't want to be a part of your religion. I don't want to promote your views. Do not expect me to. I, if you're going to fight me to the grave, then I'm going to die then. How about that? You probably want to, but you're not getting anything out of me. You're not getting any fucking money out of me. And let this be on record. For the person who is giving me money in this will, okay, I want you to make some sort of agreement that if something happens to me, that goes straight to my son. And he is per not permitted. He is he is forbidden to give that to anyone else. Okay? Because this is how, this is the point that I'm trying to make. You have done nothing for me. You have caused me nothing but pain. For every single job that I have worked, I have been mobbed, I've been harassed, I've been beat. Be, be little, all because of I understand you can hold your your opinions of how I was when I was younger and try to bring it forth now. That was a long time ago. I am who I am today. Okay? I'm, I'm, I've grown up. Okay? And I don't want to have an association with you. Okay? If we need to take this to court, okay, then we need to take it to court. Is that simple? Okay? Because it's getting to that point right now. And if my son is watching this, then I want him to understand he needs to take her to court if he feels like his life is getting to the point where he cannot take it anymore. Okay? I'm dead fucking serious. Okay? I, I shouldn't have to feel like this. I should not have to feel depressed like this. I should not have to be, you know, worrying about my life. Am I ever going to fucking live to be 60? What's going to happen to me? I should not have to do this. Okay, it's that serious. These people have threatened my life over and over again. And Terry seems hell-bent on having me killed. So let's take this to court if we need to. Okay, because I'm tired of it. I'm sick and goddamn tired of it. And if we're going to take it to court, you better believe I'm bringing everybody else in. I want Steve Murray in here. I want the, everybody I fucking worked with. Karen Johnson, all of these people. Okay, I would win. Leave me the fuck alone. Stay out of my fucking life. Okay? That's just the way it is. I would not leave you one fucking cent in my will. Not one. Okay? If you want me to change my life, change your own life. Don't bother me anymore.